Do, 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 do. So I've probably got 60 seconds to tell you everything that's happened on this day throughout history. Just the good bits. Welcome, my name's TJ, I'm your host of On This Day. Today's date is the 22nd of January, so if it's your birthday, I hope you're having a fantastic day, or if it's like an anniversary or whatever, I hope you're having a top day. And if you are new to the channel, welcome and happy days. So let's find out together everything that's happened on this day throughout history. National Celebration of Life Day. 1901, after 63 years, Britain stops sales of the Queen Victoria postage stamp and begins the King Edward VII series. 1908, Kate McClawley is arrested for lighting a cigarette, violating the one-day-old Sullivan Ordinance, banning women from smoking in public, and is fined $5. Appearing before the judge, she stated, I've got as much right to smoke as you. I have never heard this new law, and I don't want to hear about it. No man shall dictate to me. 1968, Lady Soul, 14th studio album by Aretha Franklin, was released. 1970, the Boeing 747 took off on its first scheduled flight. The jumbo jet flew from New York to London. 1973, George Foreman TKO Joe Fraser in the second round to win the WBC and WBA heavyweight boxing titles. 1953, Arthur Milne's play The Crucible premieres in New York City. It's a dramatised and partially fictitious story of the Salem Witch Trials. I highly recommend you watch it. I believe there's a film on it. Just, just watch it. 1992, Sarah, the Duchess of York, a.k.a. Fergie, wore a head... <laughs> she wore a paper bag over her head on a flight to, to stop her getting noticed. It's another thing that I highly recommend you Google. There's no photos, but just Google it. Just Google it. 1954, Audrey Hepburn won two Golden Globe Awards for her performance in the film Roman Holiday. So a lot of people were born on the 22nd of January, including former Lord Chancellor Sir Francis Bacon, war doctor Sir John Hunt, boxer Nigel Benn, comedian Phil Wang, and the England 1966 World Cup winning manager Sir Alf Ramsey, DJ Jazzy Jeff, and finally the TV chef Guy Fury. Today's been the 22nd of January. If it has been your birthday, I hope you're having a fantastic day, and I hope I've added that. And if it is just a nice day for you, I hope you're having a fantastic day, and I shall see you tomorrow. Peace. <laughs>